Okay, so hey guys, my name is Zach from Zach Technologies. So for today, I have yet another video, just like I always do have a video. So I believe that this one, on the other hand, will be much more interesting with, of course, a better lighting. I'm not sure about the sound though. I think that will be up to you for, for, for you to judge. So let me get straight to the video and tell you what I had planned for you today. So today I was thinking to myself and I realized that there are some phones that people are still using in Kenya that for me I think they they don't they don't really deserve to be used. Let me not put it like that. Let's say that yes they are usable, they are good because I can't say they don't really deserve to be used because the manufacturers put in their work towards the manufacturing of these products however in some sort of way they did not create the ultimate best product that they have they would have created but for so for today i'll be telling you some of the phones that i think yes it's a phone video when i say like that you just expect that it's a phone video so for today i'll be showing you some of the phones that i don't think that you should buy i know the several youtubers who have shown you the phones that they I think they should buy and my tech my channel will not pass to be a good channel if I don't tell you what are my thoughts on various products. I know when I start this video most of you are, are expecting for me to say an I an uh, phone such as an Infinix and ITEL but probably those are not among the brands that I'll be discussing here today. I will be discussing on the brands that personally I've used and I've th I thought that they they to me they were they were not that good to me so i know you're thinking why am i looking on this side so much i had written a short script so i'll be using the script so that i make sure that i go through all of the videos that all of the content that i have pre prepared for you and let me jump straight into the video so for the first one the first phone is the Samsung Galaxy A21s which is right here. So the Samsung Galaxy A21s is a phone that was released in early of of 20 in the late of 2020 and most people came to the most people exactly let me state for me my country Kenya most people came and started using this phone in the in early 2021. I remember in January around in January, February and all, and the early parts of this year, I was opting to buy a smartphone. And the, smart, the phone that I got, because my price range was less than 20,000 shillings, I went for, I was opting to buy the Samsung Galaxy A21s, the phone that I'm discussing right now. So this phone is very good with, obviously it is 8.9 millimeters thick, and it's not that heavy but it's 192 grams heavy and it has a battery life of 5000 mAh and it is 6.5 inches in size which is just a standard size I think it's a good size and it is roughly 20,500 20, shillings in here in Kenya among the shops that you'll get and it able to support even up to Android 10 with your memory account your memory capacity of 128 gigabits which is fairly a good size for let's say like for general use if you are not let's say keeping more movies and everything on your phone it's it will serve you well for a better number of years however it has only a one hd panel on the screen when i say hd panel i'm talking of the screen now on on the screen which means even 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 in even if it has the AMOLED panel, furthermore the one HD screen kind of was a downer for me. When I say this, I mean that the display for me did not work very much well. The display was sounded like something that was the display sounded like something vague because I I believe Samsung are, are best known for creating good phones, but on this end they did not do. Let's, let me just say they did not do their perfect work towards creating this phone. So, the one, one thing that I may point out on the phone is the screen. 
So when you buy this phone, buy it at your own risk, expecting to find poor displays from the screen. The next thing that I want to point out on the phone is the Exynos 850 chipset that it have. So the Exynos 850 chipset does not support high, let me just say it does not support high and 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 cumbersome applications running on the phone. Apps such as WhatsApp which are lightweight will be run fitly, but let me just say you download a heavy game on your phone. The phone will not function that well. So that is what I think did not add up for me. With your 5000 milliamps of battery, the due to the low performance of the due to the low performance of the chipset, it also affect the battery life. Hence you not have a longer battery life. So the next phone is the iPhone. When I say that when I'm talking about the iPhone, I know most of you will not agree because iPhone is also another company which is a big fish or let me say a big wig iPhone produce very good phones and very good very good of everything let me just say the iPhone ecosystem is the unbreakable ecosystem because it's just these good phones that good phones good I, I think even phones and other gadgets that they have produced so the iPhone 4 was this phone that was released in 2010 June so the iPhone 4 is this small 3.5 inch phone that was earlier on developed by the iPhone so with the imagine let me just read the specs for you so the iPhone 4 has 137 grams of weight and 9.3 millimeters of thinness which is a very good thinness and 5 megapixel camera imagine 5 megapixel camera in 2021 don't you think that is something that we should not be talking about 5 megapixel camera and 5 and the RAM. Let me get you to the RAM. The RAM is 512 MBs. Imagine. And we have better phones which go for 4 GB. So I'm not trying to say that the iPhone 4 was a bad phone. I'm just trying to say that it's outdated to be used in 2021. Let me move to the iPhone 5. iPhone 5 is the brother to the iPhone 4 iPhone 5 came into the light in 2013 on September 20th. The iPhone 5 is 112 grams, which is it is less heavier than the iPhone 4. However, it has a 7.6 millimeter thinness and a 40 inch display. The inches were boosted up to the iPhone 5 after the iPhone 4. And the camera is also a downer. It's 8 megapixel camera, which does not serve pretty much well let me say just say when taking your pictures let me let me if you're taking an uh, instagram or let me just say any platform picture in in your in in 2021 it also has a 1 gb ram so iphone 4 and iphone 5 basically have these past technologies it's a time where these companies were looking on ways to boost up the ram to boost up the cameras and in 2021 most companies have actually achieved that we have phones ranging to even 108 megapixel cameras, but you're still talking about 8 megapixel camera. Don't you see that is something which should not be talked about at this time? So the next, the, 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 last, the last phone that I may want to point out is the, these phones, we really much know about them. Most of you will say that I hate these phones, but I don't. I'm just saying my views concerning these phones. Those are the banner phones. The banner phones are what we call in Kenya as the Kaduda. The Kaduda was, these are the phones that were developed in the early 2000s with your T9 keypad that we have. Those ones that you press one, two, three, one, two, three, let's say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, those, 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 those types of keyboards before we came into the quality technology in the later parts of the year however the phones are basically widely used among people in people in kenya one old age people mostly use these phones two when yes i know you have seen a lot of videos about the robbery of phones that is going up in the capital city which is nairobi just know that it trickles down all the way to the other counties and all the way to the other towns so 
most people when your phone is robbed the best phone that people go opt to buy is this Kaduda. So I will much, I rather you go and buy a flagship phone. A fl I will talk about flagship phones in my next video. I rather you buy a flagship phone than you buy the Kaduda. Because the Kaduda basically does not, when you buy a Kaduda you don't expect much. You don't expect going to youtube you don't expect things like that you don't expect streaming chatting with your friends although there are some phones the banner phones that have been upgraded and they can do such such kinds of of things i believe that they they in 2021 we are just talking about smartphones those are not smartphones so basically i will not advise you to buy those phones so though that is what i had for you today i believe most of you have gotten me clear the light on check and everything and i will urge you to stick around in this channel for the next video that i will po be posting of actually the phones which i've used and i've tested and i think that you should buy don't forget to go and watch my past videos it will play a bigger role and most importantly don't forget to like subscribe share and do all that thank you so much i'll catch you in the next one